coming off this past weekend, what do you guys really need to do to come away with a weekend series win? Uh, we just need to stick to our, our roots, kind of stick to the fundamentals and play our game. Uh, we kind of lacked in all sorts of areas last weekend, and we, we kind of fixed that uh, this midweek. But, I mean, just stick to our roots. That's what we're focusing on. Look at Alabama. I think they got Auburn out scoring like 44-10 to 10 last week. You guys look at that. What do you make of that? I mean, everyone has those weekends. I mean, we know Auburn's an explosive club like that, uh, but you can't really take anything away from that. You can't look down at Alabama or anything. They're a really good squad. Um, just got to play our game and focus on what we do and just – we can take the momentum from us. Uh, we know they're going to be down a little bit, but just kind of hit them hard and get going. The fact you guys got to play Tech and Texas Tech and beat them, um, how much does that help kind of wash away the Mississippi State disappointment and get you ready for this weekend? I mean, it was definitely a good win, uh, but we ultimately know it's not going to wash away any kind of loss like the sweep. But, I mean, that's embarrassing to us, and we uh, we recognize that, and we're going to let it stick with us. Uh, we're going to take it to the next weekend and show what we can do again and get back on track. Home runs this year have really been spread out. You don't have a guy like Spanberg who's getting most of the home runs. Uh, how does that help you as a pitcher? Oh, it's great because, I mean, regardless of the inning you're in, you're not looking to say, hey, we're in the bottom of the six or whatever. We have one, two, three coming up. It's uh, any inning. Any inning, anybody can do damage. And uh, it's really nice as a pitcher knowing that whatever the score is at any point in the game, we can be, we can get it back or we can get the lead again and stuff like that. Baseball America named Bob one of the best stadiums in college baseball. What is it about this place that makes it so special for you guys? Oh, it's the fans. Uh, I mean, every game it's going to be a, a live atmosphere like that. I and mean, even Texas Tech, like it was kind of a iffy game coming off a sweep. I mean, we, you saw our fans; they came out and supported us like crazy. I mean, they got our back no matter what. And it's, I mean, it's a crazy atmosphere here. Casey, what's uh, Eric Cole's impact on this team, Ben? What are his assets? <laughs> oh, I mean, what isn't his asset or assets? Uh, he kind of does everything for us. He's a power hitter. He's an average hit for average. Uh, I mean, he's an animal in the outfield. He kind of covers a lot of ground, does everything for us. Uh, he's just a really good team guy, too. Uh, you can count on him to get all the work done, come through in clutch situations. I mean, he's just a really impacts the game like no one else. You guys are, even after a tough weekend, you guys are still tied for first, and the division's pretty bunched up. Kind of, what, what do you make of the race here, I guess, with the three series to go? Oh, it's great. Uh, yeah, for it, but it's yeah, great. it's great. Uh, competition always drives you to do better. Uh, yeah, we would have loved to have been ahead two or three games uh, going out of last weekend, but you got to move on from it. Um, like I said, competition drives you, and we know the West is really good. We know the West is probably one of the best in the country. Um, you just got to work off it and let the competition fuel us. What did you think of the job Lewski did the other night, and how big would it be if he could you know, keep that going in the SEC play? Oh, that would be great. Uh, uh, we. We could always use more guys on the mound, uh, use more guys that give us innings and stuff like that. But, I mean, he's always been that guy. And we've seen it from him in the past, and it's just really great to see it again. But, yeah, he's going to be a big factor for us down the road. The struggles on the road, is that something that you guys have talked about? What can you do to turn that around? Yeah, we've talked about it. Um, we know we haven't really been performing on the road like we should have. Um, we just got to move on and keep going. Uh, we got to get tougher, I feel like. Uh, kind of go into a road, thing, or road trip, not really – focused as we are here on the, at home and we you can kind of see it as a record but uh I mean you just got to lock in and just really hit hit the ground running when we get on the road. How about Dominic Fletcher in, in SEC but the second on the team averages what have you seen from him? Uh, we've seen a complete turnaround uh he's been he's been a great guy he got off to a very slow start and we all knew it uh you, you could see it in him he, he was pretty upset and but, I mean, he kept working, kept sticking to what he was doing, and uh, it was great to see. Uh, we all know he's a great hitter. Uh, he, he's going to have a long run in baseball. But, I mean, he turned it around completely, and that's the guy he is. He's not going to let a four-week uh, slump affect him for the rest of the season. Yeah, even if he's not hitting, he's pretty uh, important defensively. I guess yeah. especially as a pitcher, how much do you appreciate a guy that can, you know, cover ground and make great catches the way he can? Yeah, I've really never seen an outfielder like get jumps like he does. Uh, yeah, because I mean, you look at it, he's not one of the fastest outfielders you've ever seen. But I mean, he gets to balls that most outfielders can't get to. Uh, but yeah, it's great as a pitcher because I see balls in the gap. And uh, I mean, off the bat, it's more so I'm not really worried about it getting down. I'm more so worried or looking to see if uh, he'll make a diving catch and stuff like that. Thanks, Casey. Appreciate it, guys. It's more so I get around the ball more. Uh, my breakers usually 
78 to 80, and then sometimes, like, if I'm trying to bury it, I'll throw it. I'll just try to stay behind the ball more and throw it more like a cutter kind of thing. It'll be like 82, low 80s, but I mean, more so just using it in different counts. So, so when the breaking ball peaks at peak speed, the play, what is that looking like? Peak speed for? I mean, the fastest I'll throw my breaking ball is probably 83, but okay. that won't happen very much. It'll be it'll be 78 to 82 on average, probably. Okay. How does that keep you guys off balance? Because I mean, it's essentially the same pitch, but several miles an hour difference in the time. Yeah, it also has a little different shape. Uh, I use a backdoor breaking ball, like the mm -hmm. uh, sweeper slider kind of thing to get on the outside corner. A bigger breaking ball, so it looks like a fastball out of hand. Yeah. And then I'll try and go back foot to get him swing early. I'll throw a harder so they have to react quicker. And then try to throw it uh, kind of on a straight straight uh, line and get it dive down. So it kind of gets their bats going and they can't really hold back when it hits the ground. So is that something you picked up here or that you've done I guess, throughout your high school career? I definitely learned how to locate it better when I got here. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always thrown a harder slider in high school. And then I learned to throw a little slower one when I got here. Uh, but yeah, it was more so location that I learned when I got here. So you look at the Saturday start this week? Yeah, I'll be going Saturday. Okay. What have you seen from Alabama's guys? Uh, they're an older lineup. Uh, they're an older lineup. They can hit. Uh, and they're never really out of a ball game either. Uh, yeah, they have a little sh their struggles and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're older guys. They can stand with, him, stand with anybody, and we all know that. Just kind of outdo them.